Welcome, my name is Mats Olsamar. This is part 5 about the Olsamar engine. This regards computer simulations done at the Royal Institute of Technology, KTH in Stockholm. The results when the Olsamar engine is compared to baseline engine is that we get lower fuel consumption and there is less stress on the turbine in the turbo. So, for example, at absolute boost pressure 3.5 bar, we get 7% um, lower fuel consumption at 4500 RPMs. In the coming slides, I will show exactly how we did these simulations. The simulations was done in GT Suit, a common software used in the automotive industry. The preliminary base engine was imported from the examples library. It was a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. Two cylinders were removed from this engine. A turbo was added. A wastegate and intercooler was also added. And we used the non-predictive V-model combustion model. The bore was 86 mm for the cylinders. The stroke was 86 mm too. The compression ratio was 9.5 and the lambda value was 1. The baseline engine looked like this. Air comes in from the left and it goes through the two combustion cylinders and comes out through the right after passing the turbine and the compressor stage. The Ulsamar engine is the same but we have added an exhaust cylinder. This uh, piston in the exhaust cylinder is connected to the same crankshaft as the two combustion cylinders. Optimization was done with the integrated design optimizer in GT suit. We used an L generic algorithm and um, for 2000 to 5500 rpm we had more priority on the brake specific fuel consumption than on the brake power but for the top 6000 6500 rpms we had a higher um, priority on the brake power these were the parameters that we optimized on the intake side and on the exhaust side on the exhaust side, we had some more parameters for the Ulsama engine because of the exhaust cylinder and the exhaust cylinder bore diameter. After the software had determined all the optimized parameters for the baseline engine and the Ulsama engine, we got these comparisons. And we see that for 1.5 bar absolute boost, which is half a bar of uh, over boost, there is little gain with the old summer engine. But with 2.5 bar absolute boost, which is 1.5 bar over boost, we have uh, substantial uh, savings, more than 5% at 4,500 RPMs. And with 3.5 bar absolute boost, 2.5 bar over boost, we get um, almost 6% on average for most RPMs in fuel savings. We can see that the exhaust cylinder contributes to the total brake power. The contribution is very small for 1.5 bar, only 2% at maximum. For 2.5 bar, it's almost 5%. And for 3.5 bar, it's close to 7% for some of the RPMs. Here's the static pressure before the turbine in the turbo. This is at 3.5 bar absolute boost pressure. And on top we see the different color curves for different RPMs for the baseline engine. And we see that there is a pressure peak in the beginning and then it goes down to zero and then comes the second pressure peak and it goes down to zero again. 
but for the old summer engine we see a pressure peak and for most of the curves it doesn't go down all the way to zero but it remains um, and a constant overpressure towards the turbine and note that um, one bar in pressure is uh, the same pressure as the surrounding air so there is uh, no um, additional push on the turbine at one bar but for the old summer engine we have a constant push on the turbine so we have a smoother um, load on the turbine And the static pressure after the turbine at 3.5 bar absolute pressure. On top we see for the baseline engine that there is a lot of flutter. And we have uh, 1.3 bar as the peak pressure here. Whereas uh, for the old summer engine we have a lot less flutter. And the peak is a lot lower as well. And this means that we have a much smoother flow after the turbine. And uh, this makes it much easier for the catalytic converter and the muffler to handle the flow. And we get less back pressure from those parts. And it's possible to uh, have a smaller catalytic converter or smaller muffler to do the same job. Here's the temperature before the turbine at 3.5 bar boost pressure. And for 2000 rpms we have a higher temperature for the old summer engine but this depends on the fact that the optimization gave us a smaller turbine orifice so this turbine starts and spools up faster and we have a lot more horsepower at 2000 rpms for the old summer engine whereas for the later ones we have lower temperatures for all rpms and we also have more horsepowers for most of these rpms as well this is the power from the old summer engine compared to the baseline engine and the optimization gave us a very very small uh, turbine orifice for the old summer engine so it spools up very fast and we get a lot more power at 2000 rpms the uh, other baseline engine spools up at 2500 rpms so there is a little difference between the two of them there but we see that the old summer engine is performing better for all other rpms and at 4500 rpms we have about seven percent better uh, power from the old summer engine and at the same time we have seven percent lower fuel consumption for the old summer engine at 4500 rpms Thank you for listening to my presentation. This is my email address you can contact me on. There will also be a complete um, report written. It should be available by September 2021. And uh, I will place a link in the description below for this report. If you like to uh, sign up for this report, then please send me an email. Thank you very much.